This is how you can set up and play Minecraft on your Quest headset in just some simple steps. Now, first of all, to be able to do this, we will need to get something known as Questcraft since we never got an official Minecraft launch for the meta headsets. But luckily, Questcraft has already been out for multiple years and regularly releases updates that always improve your gameplay significantly. But like mentioned before, since this isn't an official Minecraft application, you sadly won't be able to find it in the normal Horizon store page. And that is why this guide will help you step by step to get it up and running so that you can just focus on smashing some blocks as soon as possible. Now to get directly started with the first step is that you will have to head over to the Meta Horizon app on your phone and make sure that you find and turn on the so-called developer mode. But if for whatever reason you don't see this feature in your settings, then it means you will first have to unlock it by creating an organization on the website from Meta. So to do this, just head over to developer.meta.com slash horizon and log in on the top right corner with your current Meta account or a new one. And after that, you'll have to fill in some basic information that you will see on your screen. But once completed, you'll have to restart your headset and Horizon mobile app at least once before you see the possibility to toggle on developer mode. And besides just letting you play Minecraft, this will also give you access to some cool features that you otherwise wouldn't have. So that's a nice plus. But with this out of the way, we can move on to the second step, which is to get side quest. Now, if you've already installed it before, then you can of course skip this step altogether. But otherwise, you wanna go to the official side quest page on your computer and then click on the get side quest tab. Now, once you're here, you will see two different options, which are the web installer and the advanced installer. And where on one side, the web installer will basically let you run side quests directly on your headset. The advanced installer, on the other hand, will be running on your computer, but it does give you some extra options and settings that we can tweak later on. So for now, let's just get the advanced one. And after your download is completed, just open it up like you would with any software and follow your setup steps that will pop on screen, which also directly gets us to step number three and that is to connect your headset to your computer using a USB-C cable. Now, if you followed all these steps correctly, then the moment you connect it to it, the red dot in the top left will most likely turn orange. And that means that you will now see a pop-up window in your quest that will ask you about USB debugging. Now make sure to accept this because otherwise you will have to start this all over again. But if you click on yes, man, I wanna do it, then the icon will turn from orange to green. And with that, you will now have successfully set up side quest, meaning we can move on to step number four, and that is to install Minecraft. So on your PC, you can just go to apps and games and you will most likely find Questcraft directly on the front page. But if not, then you can also just simply type it in in the search bar and find your way around it this way. Now just make sure that you at least have the one that says 6.0 version or newer, because the older versions often still tend to have crashes and problems, especially with the newer hardware. But if this all checks out, just click on sideload now and either log in with your SideQuest account or fill in your birthday as an alternative. And after that, it will automatically start to download and show up as a pink icon that will eventually turn green once completed. Which gets us to step five. Now you can completely unplug your headset and put it back on. And the first thing that you want to do is look for a tab called unknown sources. But on the old school meta UI, this would show up as a folder in your apps overview. But with the newer navigator interface, this should be still in the same location, but the colors might look slightly different depending on what update you're on. But either way, once you've located it, just click on Questcraft and it will start right up. And after a couple seconds, you will see the basic disclosure in front of you that you will have to completely scroll down to to the end before you can actually continue. But once you do, you will enter the starting screen. Now at this point, it is good to keep in mind that you can't just directly start playing because instead you will have to first log in with your Microsoft account on the website that is posted on screen, as well as fill in the code that is unique for your session. And don't worry, you only have to do this once. But this also means that you need to own an original copy of Minecraft Java edition to be able to play it because otherwise the game just won't start up. But after you're all connected, press the big green play button that will initiate the last download. And as a big improvement, with the newer updates, you will now see the progression as a green bar on the lower side of the window so that you can see if it actually gets stuck during this process. So after waiting a bit till it's finished, you can press the play button again and it will boot you into a game. However, most of the time, nothing happens the very first time that you try to boot this up. So that is why they added in this big kill switch that you can just press and try it again. And as soon as the white text appears the second time that you try it, you know you did everything correctly and it will get ready to start up. And that gets us to number six, which is playing Minecraft in VR. Because after all these steps, you will now finally be able to enjoy smashing some blocks as much as you want. 
However, you might directly notice some intense frame drops and performance issues at the start. But don't worry, this is only for the first couple of minutes, because the world and items still need to be rendered. So after a couple of seconds, your gameplay will now be buttery smooth again, and you will not have those random crashes anymore that we used to have in the past. Now of course, while this is running at the moment at the 6.0 update, you might yourself have even a newer version at the time of watching it. But overall, they finally brought in a lot of improvements, as well as fixing the issue that people just couldn't get it to start up at all. And the cool thing is that you will also have access to multiplayer, as well as lots of other options to change some smaller settings to your personal preferences. And that means this also has mod support. So now, you will just have to jump in and start creating some beautiful worlds to your heart's content. But that's not all, because there are also a lot of insane VR games that you can find on SideQuest and that you just have to try. So click on the video that you see on screen right now to make sure you don't miss out on that. And of course, stay awesome.